Hello and welcome to our video presentation for sustainable business models. Our group consists of me, Adrian, Chiara, Antonia, Lily and Kari. Our topic for the case analysis was last mile mobility. With rising urbanization and an ever increasing demand for transport, how do we keep our cities free from pollution and congestion? One of the most promising solutions is supplementing public transport with so-called last mile mobility. This last mile mobility is key in getting people, for example, to and from train stations. Over the last few years, more and more different concepts for this last mile mobility have been introduced, ranging from little shared electric stepjes to e-bike leasing. With these concepts, there is a huge variety of business models, from subscriptions to paying per minute of use. There is also a huge variety in the vehicle types, ranging from bikes to, for example, cars. This raises a lot of questions. What business model is best suited for which cases? What vehicle type suits which needs? Do certain business models work better with certain types of vehicles than others? It is these types of questions, coupled with the relevance of the subject the past years, that has motivated us to take a deeper dive. After looking at a number of different concepts in the e-last mobility domain, we made the decision to focus our case comparison analysis on Felix and OV Bike because of their variety in business models and vehicle type. OV Bike is the well known bike rental service where you can rent a bike at train stations per day for a small fee. When you're done using the bike, you can bring it back to the station it was taken from. OV Bike was started in 2003 by the NS and ProRail and currently counts over 20,000 bicycles at 300 locations. Felix is a scooter sharing service with a free floating fleet. This means that the scooter can be used and parked anywhere within the city and is unlocked with an app. Felix works with a pay per minute business model. Felix was founded in 2016 and currently counts over 2000 scooters in four major European cities. To compare these two cases, seven different tools and methods were used. We started off with a vision and mission analysis where we compared the vision and mission statements of these two companies to find out what their goals are. Next up, we did a timeline analysis, comparing the development and speed of introduction of the two concepts. A journey map was drafted to visualize the stages in the customer journey, as well as the emotions associated with them. Service system sketching was used to map out the way these two services work. A multi-level perspective analysis was done to compare the two different socio-technological transition pathways that these two companies are in. The sustainable business model canvas was used to compare business models. And finally, value mapping was done to make the values captured, missed and the value opportunities explicit. Next up, Antonia is going to explain how we used the business model canvas. So one tool we used was the Sustainable Business Model Canvas that was introduced to us by Nancy Bucker. And uh, it combines the traditional canvases with the triple bottom line. So it integrates the people, planet and profit analysis into the value proposition segment of the canvas. And in this way, it highlights the social and the ecological values next to the economical ones. And how we use it is that we filled in the traditional canvas and the PPP analysis online together using Google Slides and then tried to combine them into the canvas um, and then compared each segment between the two services to see what were the main similarities and differences and how they had different impacts on sustainability. Um, what worked really well for us is that um, this was a great first step for understanding the core of the business model and it resulted in a very clear structure for the comparison so we could really um, look at the key stakeholders of each model and discuss it and so forth. Um, this helped us uh, yeah, find a lot of opportunities uh, based on those differences um, for the next part of the analysis. Uh, but the true value really came from uh, analyzing it together online and discussing it rather than filling it out. Um, what didn't work well for us is 
uh, the integration of the people planet profit analysis, the triple bottom line into the business model. It really felt like a force fit for us. So um, on one side, it felt a bit weird to list negative value points within the business model canvas. It felt like there were two um, purposes colliding. And also there was very limited space, so the analysis felt a bit constricted. And uh, for this next time, we I, a suggestion would be to use the sustainable mid, uh, business model canvas from Joyce and Packen, um, because uh, they go forth in um, integrating the triple bottom line um, better into the canvas in that they look at how it corresponds to each of the segments. Okay, so another uh, tool we wanted to, uh, to discuss with you is the value mapping tool uh, from the paper of Woken. And this uh, tool helps us to better understand the positive and negative aspects of value capture, but also the value myth destroyed and wasted in a network where uh, multiple stakeholders are taken into account. So here, uh, as you can see, uh, we did this digitally. Um, and uh, we did it either for uh, Felix and for Ovi Bay Bike. And we take into account uh, uh, all the values, positive and negative, and we map uh, this for each stakeholder. Um, we did it uh, by uh, combining this tool with the business model canvas that uh, uh, it was explained before. Um, and this uh, worked really well. Uh, because uh, they were complementing each other and we use it as a collaboration tool so we were discussing uh, together and uh, we think that this uh, work uh, really well because by discussing together uh, we notice uh, uh, what it was still missing in our knowledge so um, a lack of information maybe um, we didn't know about like um, specifically the impact on uh, some stakeholders, so we could uh, go back and uh, retrieve more information. But also uh, we noticed that by combining value missed and value cap captured, uh, we could uh, we um, have found uh, interesting opportunities that we used uh, in the end to uh, derive final recommendation and conclusion for uh, the case analysis and for the company, either for Felix and OVB Bike. In conclusion, by using all the methods mentioned, we found that the two cases, even though they have similar stated missions, are actually quite different. Not only in the way their systems work, but also uh, in the values provided and the maturity of the business in the market. It was a great learning experience comparing these two services. We learned a lot about the subject itself, sustainable last mile mobility, but we also got familiar with the tools and theory surrounding sustainable business models. Thank you for listening.